Welcome back to Teal House Farm. And today we're doing an unboxing because we just got in our science curriculum. Woo! And this is specifically supposed to be an all-in-one, no prep science curriculum. It comes with all the stuff you need for the experiments for the whole year too, except for stuff where people should really have it in their house, like water. There's no buying weird things. And that's specifically why I picked this curriculum after years of really struggling with science because they always needed really odd things, right, for experiments. And then mommy would forget to pick it up when we were in town and we live way too far from town to go to town just to grab something weird for a science experiment. And so this is, that work has been done for me. Now, I always struggle to remember the pronunciation of this company. I believe it is Noel Science. And if that is wrong, I apologize. I, I forget every time I, I uh, hear it said, I forget as soon as I, I hear it. So, it's spell it. So anyway, we're going to open this up, see what's in here. This is Biology 2 for um, fourth to sixth grade. So this is for Ivy and for Micah, not for you or the little guys. We're starting with the older guys. So if we really like this, we're going to go ahead and buy one for the younger elementary kids too later. So but we're going to, right. So Annie doesn't get to, but if we really like this curriculum and think it's worth the money, then we will invest in one for the younger kids as well later this year. Anyway, let's open it up and see what's inside. There's a lot of paper, which is good, right? Because that keeps the books from getting yeah. bent and shipping. So they did a good job packing it. Let's take out all the paper and see what's inside. is just the welcome form and this has where to go if you have questions or have any sort of issue with your order so that's the first thing in there okay so it has a couple it has a couple like kits and sections mm -hmm. so like in between these two there's like balloons or something and then between that there's like paper plates and stuff and this is always a kit full right so this these are some of the biology kits so this is one to four and it looks like each kit has all the supplies and they're individually wrapped which is really nice it'll be easy to keep track okay happy when you order you have some options as far as what you want to spend money on so the base option to get all of the stuff with your kit so the starter kit is 253 dollars for the biology too that is a considerable amount of money um, and so we wanted to do this last year and we just couldn't afford it because Sam had just finished nursing school and had just started his job and we just didn't have the extra money. So I saved it and we're doing it this year. Now with the base set comes this little microscope. It's called a pike, po pocket microscope. If you want to spend an extra, I think it was, it was only like $5. You get a larger tripod microscope, which we just didn't do solely because I don't know where I would store a tripod microscope when we weren't using it. This is going to be really easy for me to put away somewhere where it's out of the way and little kids won't get at it. But it does not cost a lot of money to upgrade to a much better microscope if you would like one. We have slides for our microscope so the kids will learn how to prepare slides, which I think is kind of a neat skill. You're being loud back there. So they'll learn how to dye and prepare their own slides for biology. Wait, what? These are the slides that you put something in and then you look through the microscope at the slide. Oh, it's okay. The plastic could not contain how heavy this was. All right, these are all of the books that come. There's workbooks, there's reading books. We will unpackage all of these and look at them in a, in a minute, but all the books come wrapped together. They are really tightly wrapped, which I always like it when companies do this because I hate when you spend all the money on curriculum and it shows up with your um, content, like your pages all bent. So these stay really nice and shipping. All right, we're gonna kind of open things up so you can get a better yeah, idea of everything. Oh, we missed one. One more and then we'll lay everything out to see. Okay. These are, these are more, these are more uh, microscope slides. So there's another box in them. Okay, let's lay everything out so that we can see and then we'll. Here is everything that came in the box and uh, we'll show it to you kind of one by one. Ivy wants to show you the cool microscope, so we'll do that last. So a box, again, we spent $253. That is the basic option. You can upgrade to a better microscope. And there was one other upgrade, and I forgot what that was. Um, but this has everything you need for the year. You do not have to upgrade. That's one other thing I liked. I feel like a lot of curriculums tell you they get you over the base price, and you realize it didn't come with half the stuff. It, this comes with everything that you need. And so 
for the workbooks here we have an experiment guide which gives the instructions for each of the experiments for each unit. I like that the print's a little bit bigger and that it's written in a way that the kids can read it themselves. And so even though I'm going to help to make sure nobody, you know, gets whatever on their hands, just kind of watch them. At fourth through sixth grade, they really are able to do a lot of it alone. And so um, this sets it up in a way I feel like they can be successful in doing their experiments with a minimal amount of help from me. And the experiment kits, which I'll show you in a minute, come all pre-bundled so they don't need me to run around the world finding the most random things to make a rocket ship or whatever it is that they're going to make. This will be reusable every time I use this curriculum. So in about two years when we need to use it again for the next set of kids, excuse you, um, I'll just pull it back out. It doesn't get uh, used up. Next, we have the instructor's guide, which has lesson plans for each lesson. Um, it also tells you, gives you different schedules, which I like. So this can be used um, on a four-day schedule or a two-day schedule. This also will be reusable each time. It will not have to be replaced. Next, we have the lab manual. Now, I only ordered one of these because I wanted to see what was actually in it first before I ordered a second one for my other child. So there's two children, a fourth grader and a sixth grader who are doing this. And I've been duped before thinking I needed like two notebook, notebooking things in science classes, looking right at you, Apologia, I spent all that money and I didn't really need two because it was mostly just reading. But this one definitely will benefit from having two. It has worksheets, so I will order a second one. Another workbook is only $15, so that is not gonna break the bank. Um, a couple things that I like, I like that, um, the questions leave lots of room for writing, and I like that it doesn't have a lot of silly activities. Again, looking at the Apologia curriculum, which we tried two years in a row and just hated both years, it had so much wasted time cutting and pasting for late elementary and middle school, which they don't really care about. They just want to do the act you know, the activity and, and move on. They don't want the babyish stuff. I like this seems very age level appropriate. It has some reading, has some critical thinking questions, just, you know, right on task. Not a lot of what feels like wasted busy work. Okay, it comes with some uh, supplementary books. I love that these are all together. Um, I believe it was Master Books, which we also tried their science curriculum one year. And we thought we had bought everything. And then it seemed like at the end of every chapter, they were like, go find this random book. And our library didn't have it. And then you're like, well, do I have to buy it? Like, how much money am I going to spend? This comes together. We have a great, beautiful visual encyclopedia of animals because this is um, biology too. And I just love how colorful it is. Really good quality book. It's so big. It has a book about the body, an anatomy book which um, uh, has some cutouts, which I think we will probably photocopy so that this book can be saved and used again. It has the Science Encyclopedia, which again, just colorful and fun to look at. Just a, just a really nice feeling book. And then the World of the Microscope, since they are learning how to use microscopes. And again, just great selections as far as reading that is going to be fun to look at and keep kids really invested in what's going on. Okay, last thing, and I'll let Ivy show you the microscope. We have all of our kits for uh, lab experiments, and they come with everything included. And if you can keep your packages sorted together, because I think you are going to reuse certain things for different weeks. There is, from what I understand, an experiment basically every week. There's a couple weeks where there aren't one at the very beginning. It looks like weeks two and three don't have one. But basically, almost every week, there's going to be some sort of experiment for the kids. We have the microscope with this clippy thing. You clip it onto your phone, and then this is supposed, when you look into it, you turn on the light and you can see it from your phone. Like that. You clip it on, and then it shows you from here. You go on to your video. So your phone becomes like the viewer. And then we have these strips. What do you see? They're flowers, little tiny samples. They kind of look like stickers, but then when you open it, they shouldn't be. And there's a bunch of like bugs, butterflies, and stuff like that. And then you put them under it, and it should work. Good. And this one. This one, I think. Blank slides. They're blank slides. And so. I think you put them onto the thing and then you put them in. You like dip whatever you have into there and put it on. 
I don't know what these stuff are for, but yeah. All right, so these are blank slides. They're gonna learn how to prepare their own Microsoft slides, and these are the dyes. Some things you have to dye so that you can see the color in the microscope. So I think that's really neat that they let the kids learn how to do that. So that's everything that's in the kit. We're really excited to give this a try. We have tried multiple science curriculums over the year. I just have not loved any of them. Um, in my opinion, there's a couple things that happen. We've used master books, which I felt like the curriculum lacked depth and that every time I turned a page, they were like, oh, go find this or that for your student. And I do not have, we do not live in a place where it's really easy to get things. And also the cost really added up where I got the curriculum and thought, oh, this isn't too expensive. We can afford this. And then when you open the book and you see how much stuff they want you to buy, how many books they want you to find, which may not be available if you were like us and your library is in a smaller network, um, it got really overwhelming really fast. And we also felt that um, a lot of the curriculums like Apologia, we tried two of their different units and they were just really busy work heavy. The kids did not like it and I didn't like it because I just felt like we were wasting a lot of time just not working, but like cutting and pasting and doing things that we already do in like, you know, art class and other lessons. Like for science, we wanted to learn science, not spend all our time making these tiny little booklets that we're never going to look at again. And the last one we tried was Easy Peasy, which is a free online science curriculum. And it was actually relatively good as far as the science went. I felt like it was pretty in depth. We did chemistry and the kids learned about the different, um, the different elements on the periodic table and a little bit about chemical reactions. There were some really cool online games that came with it and some cool videos and some really neat experience experiments. But the problem with it was that um, it just needed a lot of prep, a lot of prep. Like I would spend an hour prepping just science for the week because of the amount of printing and the amount of gathering materials and planning ahead uh, that it needed. And while I, this, it is supposed to be a no prep curriculum. There really is no such thing as no prep because you always need to be ahead so that you're ready to teach your students, not learning with them. Um, but this is very minimal prep. Uh, the experiments are already set up. I already have what I need for the experiments except for things that should be at home like water. Um, and it already has the supplemental reading. It's just, they thought about everything and I appreciate that. We're really excited to get started and give this a try. We'll probably pop in in a couple weeks and give you an update on how we're liking it. And if we really like it, we're going to buy one of their units for the early elementary kids so that they can be doing science as well at their level. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys all again really soon.